Introduction Students, look at the ball. You must have played with it. Can anyone tell me what the shape of it has? Yes, it is circular in shape. No, it is spherical in shape. Okay, you must have eight softy. What is the shape it has? Yes, it is conical in shape. Very good. Today we will learn more about shapes. Come, let's see. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify the various solid shapes, count the edges, vertices, and faces of solid shapes, build 3D solid shapes from their nets, draw solids on flat surface, view different sections of a solid, faces, edges, and vertices. Hey students, look at me what I got for you. A cube. A cube is a special kind of cuboid whose length, breadth, and height are equal. A vertex or vertices is a point where two or more straight lines meet. An edge is a line segment that joins two vertex. A face is any of the plane or curved surface of a solid object. Nets for building 3D shapes. Now we see how a cube is formed. A net is a sort of layout in 2D which, when folded, results in a 3D shape. Here we show you how a cuboid is formed from its net. Now you can see a cube with its net. Now we see how a pyramid is formed. Here we show you how a pyramid is formed from its net. Now we see how a cone is formed. Here we show you how a cone is formed from its net. Now we see how a cylinder is formed. Here we show you how a cylinder is formed from its net. Self-assessment. Match the following shapes to their respective nets. Drawing solids on a flat surface. Let's learn about oblique sketches. An oblique sketch involves a combination of an orthographic flat front with depth line receding at an angle, usually 45 degrees. Let's draw an oblique sketch of Q. To draw an oblique projection, follow three main rules. 1. Draw the front or side view of the object. 2. All measurements drawn backwards are half the original measurement. 3. 45 degrees is the angle for all lines drawn backwards. Let's learn about isometric sketches. Isometric sheet divides the paper into small equilateral triangles. Isometric drawings are 3D drawings. All the vertical lines are drawn vertically, but all horizontal lines are drawn at 30 degrees to the baseline. Isometric is an easy method of drawing 3D images. Let's draw an isometric sketch of cube. Mark the front corner of the solid as A. Draw three units down, three units to the left, and three units to the right. Then, draw three units left from this last point. Draw a square for the top of the solid. Draw segments three units down from each vertex for the vertical edges. Connect the appropriate vertices using dashed lines for the hidden edges, viewing different sections of a solid by slicing or cutting. Now we are going to play slicing game. We have a piece of butter which is cuboid in shape. Here we slice the piece of butter. Each face of the piece is nearly rectangle in shape and this face is called as cross-section of the butter piece. So, students, do you like the game? We have much more to go. You must visit in the kitchen and there many a times you have seen vegetable cutting. So after cutting the vegetables, they take different different shapes. A shadow play. We have another game to play that we called shadow play. It is another method to view three dimensional objects into two dimensions. Let us see some of the objects through this method. Now we cast a shadow of cylinder. Now we cast a shadow of pyramid. There can be multiple answers because of different arrangements. A third way is by looking at the objects from certain angles to get different views. 
we can look at the object by just standing in front of it and from the side and top as well. Let us see some of the objects through this method. Self-assessment. Drag and drop the options to their right places. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. A vertex of vertices is a point where two or more straight lines meet. An edge is a line segment that joins two vertex. A face is any of the plane or curved surface of a solid object. A net is a sort of skeleton outline in 2D, which, when folded, results in a 3D shape. To draw an oblique projection, follow three main rules. 1. Draw the front or side view of the object. 2. All measurements drawn backwards are half the original measurement. 3. 45 degrees is the angle for all lines drawn backwards. Isometric sheet divides the paper into small equilateral triangles. Shadow plays a method to view three-dimensional objects into two dimensions.